Hello, everybody. It's Hi. Tuesday night. Dana's with me. Hello. It's going to be a live video chat, sh chat show where we're going to interact with the chat room. And it's going to be it's going to be fun tonight. So you all want to pay attention. I'm, I'm going to open up some happy mail before we start. And uh, let's see how I can get me up. Here we go. And uh, I thought I have to turn that down again every time. It, <laughs> I do it. I do it beforehand, but it it, it goes doesn't back. turn YouTube down, so I have to do it again. Uh, aggravation. That's all right. And Janet Nash is here. Hi, Janet. Hey, Janet. Dana's with me tonight. Yeah, I am. She says. She says, would you like some company? And I said, sure would. <laughs> I needed a distraction if you want to know the truth. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we are going to we are going to do an envelope book tonight that we're going to make out of envelopes. And all you need is three envelopes, the same size, any size, any way you want to do it for for, and we're going to do that in a little bit. And this is um, this is a my heart book that I'm doing, <clears throat> and um, I spilled some water paint on it uh, the other day, so I'm having to cover my pages with uh, scrapbooking paper, and that's what I'm doing with that. And it's going to get it's going to be cute because all these wet, nasty <laughs> magazine uh, pages are going to be covered up with pretty scrapbooking paper. <clears throat> And as you can see, I might have to put a little heart there because I closed it when it was still wet. But I'm working on it. But I did get some happy mail tonight. And if you can, uh, you can see here, I got some toilet paper here in case Dana gives me any, any, any bull. I'm going to have plenty of wall, uh, toilet paper. Okay. Ooh. So you behave, Dana. I, I don't want, I don't want you messing up. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> no, what I needed the tissue paper was I watched a video with Kim Pullen and and she um she's K and R K or something. Uh K and R P I think it's K and R P crafts. Anyway, she comes in here. Anyway, I've been watching her. She's very good and um uh, I'm sure she. I'm sure she'll probably try to come in because uh, I just talked to her a few minutes ago. But she talked about how to make paper. Paper. Uh, use fine paper, fine tissue, single, single strand tissue, pa uh, toilet paper, or even tissue paper. Shred it up and you put it in your little molds. And I bought these molds to do our uh, polymer craft. Uh, we're getting ready to do polymer craft. Uh, as soon as uh, Rebecca gets back, and she is back home, but she's under the weather. So I don't know if we're going to get to do it Thursday night or not, but but if it's not this week, it'll be next week. We're going to do polymer clay. And I have been out in the garage, and I've been reconditioning my my big my big clay. So the garage has been uh, 10 the, I'm 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 cleaning up in out there and getting things sorted out, and I went out there and got all the little tiny things that I'm going to need with my polymer clay. So, but anyway, I made this little mold, and Kim used plain water and tissue. She just used a, a little brush and poked it in there, and 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 uh, pressed it in real tight, and she just used water. But I put just a tiny, I put just a tiny enough to make the water milky. I put a little bit of glue in my water. And then out of these molds, it should come out. So I can just bend the mold back and my little bird's going to come out. And I want you to look how cute that is. <clears throat> See oh, the bird cute. feathers? Yeah. That is cute. It's the the shoe and his feet and his tail feathers so we're going to be doing some paper and these these will dry this will dry hard it's a little damp right now but it'll dry hard i can use, put a little bit of uh colored paint on it and paint the bird up they're, and they're flat backs so i can glue them onto my art my art pages 
and I'm going to love it. I'm going to love this. Um, and I'm going to do some with polymer clay. And I also have some other little molds here that I can do this paper craft with um, and make tiny roses. Um, these are real tiny. So we'll just have to play and see. But I'm thinking I can make some flat backs out of, out of tissue paper, out of toilet paper. So uh, I'm I'm excited about working with that a little bit. I think that'll be fun. I think the bird's going to be excellent. So uh, that's what that's all about. So I really don't need the whole roll. Actually, I think I'll trade this off with the little roll that's on the <laughs> on the bathroom. I just need a little roll because you'd only need you only need probably that much is too much. You know, just the tissues tissue can make two or three of these. But uh, but anyway, I'll use that in when I do something tonight. But anyway, I'm going to sit this over here and uh, I'm going to open up my happy mail. I got, hi everybody coming in. I got some happy mail from Rhonda. Do How many of y'all know Rhonda? Renee's here. Ronnie's here. Hi, Ronnie. And Tanya and Christine. Always Crafting is here. We're going to open up some happy mail. Chris Clues. Oh boy. All kinds of all kinds of, and Renee's here. All right. Hey, Renee, everyone. I would like to introduce Chris to you. He lives in Belize and Chris Chris lives in um, central Mexico. In central Mexico. She'll have to tell you her city's name. I can't pronounce her city, but she lives about two hours from Mexico City. <laughs> Northeast. <laughs> or northwest of northwest of mexico city so this is from our, our very good friend of mine rhonda and i was kind of surprised to see her get she should oh my goodness she said look at these we're gonna have to use these for st Pat, patty's day what day is, what day is st patty's day i guess i know <laughs> sometime this month somebody will tell me so we can we'll make a St. Patty's Day, and she sent me some stickers and some punch outs. Look at all these little goodies! Oh my goodness! She, and Easter's coming up, so I can leave all this out for Easter. She sent me a watercolored rose. I don't know if she did this or not, but it's a possibility. A uh, Santa Claus napkin, uh, an angel, some pretty napkins. Thank you. Here's another. I, I bet she did this. Thank you, she says. Thank you for your kindness. I sent her a little bit of happy mail, and she sent me a whole lot of happy mail back. This is handmade from the heart, but it doesn't have her name on it. But isn't that cute, watercolors? Wouldn't you like to do something like that, Dana? Oh, yeah. This reminds me of Dana. <clears throat> look, there's me and Dana. We're best friends. <laughs> My face looks kind of messed up there. <laughs> she sent me some paper clips. Look at these shapes and some <clears throat> stickers. Cat stickers. Razzle dazzle stickers, kitty stickers, and I just want to give a big thank you to to uh, Rhonda for all of these little lovelies, and uh, they will come in definitely come in handy. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I can use tonight. Then there might be. I love that card. Oh, that is beautiful. We uh -oh. we should do something like that. I could do that. I can do that. And I'm sure there's Kim. Kim, look at my bird. I made it out of toilet paper. <laughs> I hope it wasn't used toilet paper. You can see his feathers. And um, I took my water and put just a little bit of glue in it. Just in case. Because if I get this wet again... I don't want anything coming off of it, and I want to. I want to paint his his wing and his tail feathers, and do just the tiniest bit of watercolor on it. So, hi everybody coming in. Hi Kellyanne. Hello, hello. 
just opened up Rhonda's happy mail. So anyway, uh, she is a sweetheart, and I see her. She spends a lot of time in over it at uh, Dee Dee's channel, and uh, but she knows she knows who I am. She knows she knows I stream. So this is good. All of these will go. This will be good for St. Patty's Day and Easter. I could put that in my Christmas journal. I still have some Christmas things out, believe it or not. And this is a pretty flower. Ooh, wow. Bright. These napkins are awesome. Here's some Easter eggs. They'll come in handy. I'll do something with these. We'll, we'll have to get uh, start blowing out some eggs. Dana, have you ever blowed out an, an egg? No, ma'am. I have not. Oh, boy. <laughs> Isn't she in for a treat? <laughs> Kim, these were the molds I used. Uh, for what the, if I'm not a good blower? I want to have you. I, I'm uh, that uh, Becca did it. We decorated <laughs> eggs for Easter, so I'm going to do paper paper mache in these in these little molds, and I'm also going to use them for polymer clay. So, I did something, but I don't know what it was. But that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so thank you, Rhonda, very much. And we will definitely, uh, everybody, we're going to be needing three three envelopes, any size envelopes that you want to use. All the same size, though. All the same size, though. You can. I'm just using uh, the security envelopes, the little ones, but you can use any kind of envelopes, three of them that are just alike, and we're going to do that in just a few minutes. This one is from uh, Margaret Lovinger that lives up in New York. <clears throat> and she watches me sometimes from afar. So she, 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 she might catch me on the replay. And she sent me a little something. So let's see what she sent me. She sent me a sunflower napkin and a Paris napkin. And a love napkin. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice. She sent me some stickers, wildlife stickers. We're going to do a donkey after bit. We're going to paint a donkey. That? <laughs> what? Do you like him? <laughs> yeah. He's cute. <laughs> and you can po post them in, in my, go and post everything in my group. Janet probably posted my link. Here is food stickers. <clears throat> you never know when you need food stickers okay and some more food stickers oh i like these because they have corny words <laughs> uh ronnie says i will reappear as ronnie tonight i'm using his ipad okay ronnie uh did you tell me who you were? You're using... Oh, Sherry Van. Okay, Ronnie is <laughs> Sherry tonight. Thank you, Sherry. She's borrowed an iPad so she can see bigger. I know what she's doing. Anyway, these have... These have... Um, I'm a big deal. <laughs> Bird deal picker, pickles. Mm -hmm. I'm a big deal. Mm -hmm. And you're baking... Banking me crazy. <laughs> Donut worry. Be happy. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. What's up, dog? <laughs> That's my jam. You're the tots for tater tots. <laughs> Little hot top. I'm not reading anymore. I, I get too carried away. But she oh she gave me two sheets of that one. Woohoo! And these little these are Harry Potter. Ooh, I don't I haven't done anything Harry Potter. She sent me a brooch and a um it's a brooch with a diamond and then a doily. I'm not sure. It's on the back. 
I'm not sure if, if, if it's supposed to be glued down, but I just took it off. <clears throat> it's supposed to be glued there or this side. I'm not sure. But she's made me a homemade little bro uh, little boutonniere for something. And then she sent me a Mickey card. It's a, it's a, like an ACT card. She's got a symphony, beautiful symphony paper on the back. And she's got a crown. And she's got Mickey, Minnie Mouse on the front of that card. How cute. And then another butterfly. And she's, I bet she's crocheted these little, these little doilies and some jewelry. She's used broken jewelry. And this little butterfly is really, really pretty. Uh, it's double, it's got double layers to it. Very nice. Thank you, Margaret. That that's beautiful. And and I will find some place to to put this little uh this little cute thing. I'm thinking on the front of a of a book uh, or or something. Um, it's it's got to be for something. And I like the diamond on the back too. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll look. At, we'll look and see what we can find to put, do with that. Thank you so much. I will be using everything. Everything is very nice. That was a nice surprise. Nothing goes to waste around here. Okay. So here we go, guys. Make sure uh, you need three envelopes, and they need to be the same size. Uh, Brittany says I have Hi Brittany an Amish, an Amish neighbor And sometimes she brings me food And thought Tonight she brought me this chicken biscuit Mashed potatoes casserole Oh my gosh Brittany And it's so good And I'd like to say Congratulations Brittany Has a new little uh, bling On her finger on I her know finger. I saw that Mm -hmm. On this finger, she's got a diamond. Mm -hmm. So, Teresa's here. Mindy's here. Mm -hmm. Tanya's here. Janet's here. <coughs> Jan, little sister's here. Cheryl's here. And anybody else that I've missed. Kim's here. Ronnie is uh, Sherry Van. And I'm sure there's more as I go back. So, everybody get three envelopes. And we're going to, we're going to, this is something that we're going to do a swap as a demo. And we're going to trade these in April. So we're making them online so that you can see how we actually make these. And, and then we're going to trade these envelope flip books with a partner next month. So we've got to make at least one, at least one. And I will probably just say, everybody make one. If you want to make one for yourself, of course, please do. And if you want to trade again uh, as Happy Mail with someone else, of course, you, you may. But for our swap for next month, we're going to trade one of these with a partner. So, so get three envelopes. And Dana's going to show us how to put the envelopes together. Well, you want to make how. I'll make it's it. Big. How I'm gonna do it. I mean, you could probably put it together a couple different ways. Uh, uh, I uh, I thought it's real big on the screen. Maybe that's it. There we go. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna make it real big. Hey, Jana. I my mouse and it did something crazy. Okay, there you go, Dana. Okay, so we have I have three envelopes, and my thought on this is I have um. I want to be able to put this in an um, envelope that I can send it out easy. So I have this size envelope, which is um, what the four by or four and a, four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then I can put it in this envelope to send it out. To mail and this it. is like a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So that's what I'm doing with this one. Um, it depends on what size envelope you have. You can use whatever you have. Don't buy nothing special. Um, but I'm going to take this envelope and it's going to go in here like this with, with both flaps together. 
because I want some pockets. So you'll want to glue um, the back part, not, not the front part if you want a pocket. So I'm going to put glue on this. On the now, back. do you want the actual lineup to be e equal on this? You one? want it to be, you want to be able to open and close your envelope whenever you bulk it up, you know. So leave a little bit of space, kind of like that, so that in the joint, when you close it, then it'll close, but so it pull won't. It out. You want to pull it out a little smidge, bit. Yeah, just a smidge. Um, and then put envelope, I'm um, going to put envelope glue on your back of your um, flap. And then I'm going to slide it in. I know I'm going to get glue everywhere else, but. So slide it in and then leave that little space so that you can open and close your little folio easy. And then this one, you will you can put glue on this flap also on the back. Glue that little sucker down. <clears throat> so now you have a pocket here and a pocket here and then for this one you can do this two ways you can do it like this so that you have a pocket on this side like that or you can do it like this and it'll close with a pocket so the pockets like this So whichever way you wish is fine. Um, you know, it it just depends on how you how you want to do it. it it's not going to change or hurt anything at all. So if you do it this way, then you know your stuff's not going to fall out. If you know if you do it this way, if you do it this way, you know whatever you put in here might fall out. Or if you want a tag sticking out you know, to give it a little character, then you can do it that way. So, I don't know. I'll probably do them all different ways. Whenever There's I, no right or wrong. No. It's just something that we can tuck a few goodies in and decorate and, you know, make some purties. But, yeah, leave a little edge there so that your um, envelope will fold over and then so this one is mine so now we can decorate you know all the sides of it just make sure you don't close these up if you want to put stuff in them okay. oh, oh Mary, I can bring you some envelopes piggybacks it just piggybacks <laughs> The center one. Okay. Me and Mary are going to meet up in a couple weekends. Oh, is um, she going to be down here that long? Okay. Yeah. yeah, she's down here. Is she a snowbird? Mm -mm. No, she's down here with a with one of her friends that's going to have a baby. Oh, she's staying for, and she's staying. Okay. Staying for like a month. Wow. <clears throat> that's nice. Yeah. So we're going to go, there's this place in um, Brandon, and it's kind of like a creative reuse almost, um, but they do classes and stuff. So we're going to go and take a, um, a class. Oh, that'll be nice. Like you and your sister did? Um, Yeah, kind of like that. But um, this one's in Brandon, and I haven't been to it before. So um, okay. we'll see how, we'll see how we like it. But, Sounds fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, yeah. I'm going to uh, make us both big, and I'll show you how I did mine. I did it the same way, and uh, so I did, uh, I put this one inside, inside this envelope, and there's the, the back side, and I left a little bit of space between the fold, between the folds, so that I can make it thick. And then this one is just attached to the back side of this envelope, the middle envelope. And there's there's the lid or the uh, the triangle part. 
and I glued it down. And so, I, I think what uh, envelopes, if you, if you have any choices of envelope, guys, what Dana has is that cardstock envelope. And I think that's the ticket. Uh, I think you need to get, if you have that choice. Here's one I received in the mail. And she's got a sample one. I'm using the security envelopes and the wa and the water, the glue that I'm using is making it wrinkly looking. But I also plan to use uh, collared paper on top. Now so, on this one, she did a pocket here and a pocket here and she covered this pocket up but she made it like a flip oh that's, a, that's in a, very in a little cute. pocket here a lot of variety yeah. of things you can do with your with your envelopes you can mm -hmm. do whatever you make it flips flip put something to flip up inside make it a journal page yeah and or she's a journaling pad put some notes in it and then you could put coupons in the other pockets and put it in your purse yeah, she stuffed it with lots of little goodies. And she's got she's got lots of ephemera in the, in hers. And yeah. that would be perfect to, to put on your desk to have at your hand when you want when you need a little something something on your art page. And then she just closed it with a ribbon, you know, a belly band. Yeah, a little belly band and and she put a wax seal on it. Woohoo! Yeah. You can do that. She put a wax seal and um and then it was from Jen Rand, so I put her little um, paper on here. Okay, okay, that's awesome. So yeah. anyway, um, <clears throat> these are cute, cute to make, and and we're making them. We're going to do this two or three times. Uh, I'm going to continue to to decorate on mine tonight for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, me too. And then we're going to we're going to paint a donkey, and. Uh, uh, did you post it in my in my group yet? I did. Oh, okay. So the the donkey is in my group, and I'm I'm going to use some pretty paper to cover uh, some of my envelopes. Uh, so I'll be measuring and trying to make it look nice uh, and covering covering this. You could probably also paint your envelopes first. Um, I think that what Dana has, Dana used cardstock, uh, a cardstock envelopes, and they're real thick. And I really think that is the best one. That hers is going to be the best, the best one. And uh, the one I'm making is going to be, um, it's going to be real crafty. It's going to be well loved. No, it doesn't matter because you glue it on the back part of your um, envelope. Um, on the back part of the flap so it doesn't matter if it's straight or pointy yes no we didn't make it work oh janet janet thank you i just got some brand new napkins in some happy mail let's see margaret sent me some napkins and Rhonda sent me some napkins let's see which ones we want to use oh this one she's got two napkins here I think we're going to use the two. Well, no, there's two napkins here and I'm going to go with, and it's on four sides. So that way I'll have plenty in case I mess up. I'm going to do mine in purple. Thank you. Good idea. Napkins, cardstock paper. Exactly. And I have, um, I have also made uh, in the past and I've showed it many a times uh, it was a flip envelope book and it had envelopes that you kept adding on there was one up here and it flipped up and there was one down here and it flipped down and there was another one here and it flipped out and it was it was an envelope flip book and it was real it was really cute and I, I it's around here somewhere I just don't know where it is right at this moment so <laughs> So, hi, Mary, and Sharon's here. Hello, good evening. <laughs> and hello to anybody that I have missed. Sherry Havling's here. Tina. I think I said hi to everybody else. If not, hello, hello, blankets, hellos. So, we're going to be trading these next month for our swap. So, you will want to put three envelopes together. And by leaving a little bit of space in between this fold here 
and this fold here uh, don't don't line up that 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 fold line exactly up to it give it pull it out just a smidgen just a smidgen just pull it out just a smidgen let's see so you can actually see a little bit of the security envelope that's how much i pulled it out so that means i've got that much thickness to put in here and when it shuts it'll shut flat because i've got space here in the crease uh, I, I hope I've made that clear. Is that as clear as mud? <laughs> oh, fabric. That would be a good idea. Now, the back side's going to be easy to do because I can just <coughs> put, it down, put it down all the way. That's what I'm going to do with the back side. Let's see how we're going to do it. I'm going to. I'm going to do it this way. So, uh, we're going to do an envelope flip book for our trade next month. If you want to play, you've got to make one. And you've got to make it real pretty so you can give it away. And you'll trade, you'll have a partner to trade with. This was Dana's idea. Very good idea. You all can thank her. Only because I got it in the mail. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. It doesn't matter where you got it from. All of our crafts, none of our crafts are new. Everything's been done before at this point in our lives. <laughs> Everything's been done. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> So this side's going to be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. I got the front done. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to start laughing and I won't be able to stop. I got the giggles tonight. What did you get into? Uh, I did. Uh, I did say. Uh, heard one word from. From Rebecca. She's sick in bed. Yeah. She, she's been sleep. She said she's just been sleeping a lot. So I don't know if it's her medicine or if she's taking cold medicine or whatever. Thank you, Thank Jan. She this said that she was sick from, on the. Rhonda soon. Jenkins gave me this. Um, she she's not been online or she's not been she's not done anything since she's been back, and um, and I said I'm getting worried, and she finally said sorry. <laughs> That's all she said. Yeah. Um. Okay. She caught Mandy and them's cold, whatever they had going on. Yeah, and then they and she's been sick all on the cruise. <clears throat> I know that sucks. That is not fun. That's not fun at all. And it sounds like more than just a cold. It sounds like halfway a cold between a cold and a flu. Yep. And is that kind of what you had? Um, yeah. Just didn't feel yep. good. Yeah, just you feel like poo. So there's that side. And I'm going to cut this right here so it'll have a, a space. And then I could fold that under. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Perfect. And this one's going to go under there. And this one's going to go under there. Like that. So. So, hi, Barbie. How do you do? 
and I have to keep lifting this up so I won't stick to the lid. Like that. I have to go to the post office tomorrow and get stuff mailed off. And um, then Thursday, they're putting my um, countertops on. Woohoo! Mm hmm. That's good. Yep. That'll be a big step. Yeah. Okay. This one goes down. And it has a little tuck. And this one goes down. A little trim. A trim here and a trim there. Whoops. <laughs> Let's see. Now how do I get rid of it? There we go. So anyway, we just got finished sending out ACTs for an ATC swap. And we had 36 people participate in the, the ACT swap. So, how many are we going to have for the envelope swap? Don't know. Kelly Ann's going to have, she's got a swap and two Happy Meals to get in the mail tomorrow. Okay, Kelly Ann, that's good, good. So, uh, yeah. And of course, you all, I, I realize you all are thinking about this, right? You guys are thinking about doing this. Oh, I probably put too much glue. So I'm I'm liking this so far. And I'm after I get done with it, I will varnish, clear varnish this a napkin so it doesn't accidentally tear. Kim said she's going to send her ACT. Yes, you've got time to send your ACT. This is for next month. And I figured we would do this a couple of times uh, throughout the month um, and demonstrate how to actually do the fold. You can see how easy it is, and you can see how easy it is just to cover that whole envelope up using just plain old <laughs> dollar uh, general security envelopes. These are the little ones, the little ones. You can even use the long ones, the big ones. It's just that when you mail it to your partner, whoever you mail it to, I will probably put it in this envelope. And and I and it would only take probably one stamp. Maybe two. And, <coughs> and Dana has got hers. Uh, she's got another envelope that's a, a little bit bigger than her 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 pockets and it'll go inside that envelope this might go inside of a greeting card envelope as well let's see like this envelope here is a greeting card envelope and i have uh, i have some of these so this will go in that card in that in that book as well and i plan on filling up the three pockets with goodies with happy mail that's the least we can do you could use scrapbooking paper, you can use magazines, you can use calendars, 
napkins. What else could you possibly use? What do you, what do you have in your in your in your in your room? It would be cute just to make it out of text paper and ink all the edges. That would be cute and vintage. Cheryl says my her, her mailman is under the weather. So as soon as she gets her envelopes ready, she's she's going to mail her her ACTs. Okay. Uh, so uh, she must have a mailman like you. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and a personal mailman. So now what I want to do is <clears throat> I've got some I got some paper. This is not scrapbooking paper. This is stationary. <laughs> And this might be something nice to put on the inside. Oh, I'm using the wrong side. Something like that. Nerd. So I just need to mark it. Uh, let's see. Okay, Mary, I'll get you after the show. Uh, I'll get you after the show. I'll do it after a while, in a minute. So I just need to cut this down to size. And then I'll have three little, three of these to glue down. Like a lot. <coughs> And all I have to do is take a little pencil and draw one little line. Can I see it? I can see it. And cut the stationary paper. I bought this stationary paper over 10 years ago at the Dollar Tree. They used to have packages, packages of stationery in all different kind of prints, and I bought a package of stationeries uh, when I was involved with my uh, pen pals. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cheryl's got to reschedule. Carrie. Pierre's uh, birthday. He's been sick. Is his birthday today? My, that's my brother's birthday. My brother has a birthday today. So what I need to do now is divide this by three. I just happen to have another envelope I can use for a pattern for a size, a template. So, uh, like that, and draw another pencil line, and do that three times. And then that'll be the middle part. And it'll have to be cut down just... Actually, it won't be. It'll be perfect. I think it'll be perfect. So let's just see how this works out. Uh-oh. Kelly Ann threw her back out. I've been... I know how you feel about that. I just bought me a back brace. <laughs> I was out in the garage yesterday... Uh, for some of you all that haven't heard, uh, I've been out in the garage and I went, went out to recondition some of my clay, and it's it's uh, it's uh, it's getting softer as we speak, and uh, my big pottery clay, and then I brought in some extra pieces of uh, equipment 
to use with polymer clay and we're going to be making we're going to be doing polymer clay just as soon as Rebecca feels better so what I want to do here is I guess I'll just snip it in the middle down to there I'm going to fold it in half so I'll, let me show you guys I'm going to um, close my um, thing with a ribbon and so I already put my three papers on and then I folded this one and put this one on but now I want my ribbon to be up under my papers that are going to go here and here so I have to put my ribbon on now Okay, show it one more time. Let me make you big so you they can see how you put your ribbon underneath <clears throat> something. I know what you I know what you're trying to say. Let's see. I need to find right there. Tr explain that one more time. All right. They can see. So I've already decorated the inside, the three, and then I put I closed it and then I put it on this paper, and then that leaves this and this. So I'm going to, I want my ribbon to go on here. And so I need to put it on now and then I'll put my other cover on and then my other one for that side. So, but that's what I'm, I'm putting this on right now. So it'll be, be hidden part of it. Some of the ribbon will be underneath. Yeah, it'll be. Now I'm just going to put a little bead of glue to hold it. Now I took a, a strip of paper that went clear across uh, my 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 um, my three envelopes, and I divided it into three pieces, and the pattern matches the pattern matches. Uh, like it's just one piece, continuous piece, but I cut it in three, three equal parts. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get it back up in here. Uh, this is one piece of stationery, and I trimmed it. I just trimmed this one edge off, and I, I divided this piece of paper See, this was the piece of paper, and I cut it off here, and then I divided this bigger strip triangle into three equal parts, and the patterns match during three parts. So what I did for the first envelope over here, there's a pocket, and I just I cut it just to the point of where it meets the... Um, the pocket and then this is going to be triangled on this side and tuck under is what I'm going to do so I'm going to fold this down so that it's to this point out here and then and then this is going to be turned around and folded this way so that it fits on this this envelope and it's going to tuck on the inside of the pocket and it's going to make it a little bit stronger and it's going to make a nice edge and now I'm going to fold this side over here back to this corner like that <coughs> turn it over and fold it under this side of the pocket and then I'll glue it down and now I have a pocket here out of the dictionary so all I have to do now is put some glue down put a little glue down so Kelly said that she threw her back out. Well, I need to tell you a story. Beth's going to kill me for this, but it'll be all right. Um, we went out to dinner with one of my friends <clears throat> from high school, 
and her um, husband, he was also, I went to school with him, but he was kind of stiff, you know, and didn't like know how to have a good time and stuff. So before he, um, whenever he was getting ready, he bent over and he was brushing his teeth and he gagged and it threw his back out. I said, well, good God, it's a good thing you didn't fart too. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think it was funny. <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell what he would have threw out after that. <laughs> if he threw his back out, brushing his teeth, what would he throw out if he if he did that? Or what if he uh, sneezed? That's what I told him. Like it's a good thing you didn't fart, or sneeze, or something. You'd be you'd be in the hospital. <laughs> there you go, Mindy. I think it looks nicer. Now I'm using this this cheap glue, and it is showing watermarks. But I just figure that's just going to give it character as it as as it dries. It's going to get stiffer. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the center the center uh, envelope, and it has a it's the same direction as the one on this side. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and maybe just, do I want to glue it down or fold it first? I folded it first. So let's fold it. Let's fold those corners because this angle isn't exactly, uh, it's cattywampus to the, to the, because there's a flat part in the, in the envelope right here. So it's, I'm, I'm doing it from this point to this point and it's not exactly the same um it's sort of the same the uh geometric fold is a little different than the original envelope fold so i'm make shifting it i'm make shifting it so that it works Fold those little wings back, and then I'm going to fold them under. See, it looks like a little shirt. So I'm going to fold these back the other way. Joe is outside with the uh, pressure washer, so that's the noise you hear. <laughs> so I can lay this down on my, and tuck those ends under. And it will glue down on this envelope. And it looks nice. And my paper is all matching on the inside. So I'm just going to lift, lift these corners up a little bit. And get a little glue down. There and there. And there and there. in there so let's see if we can get it back down now there we go there it goes and again when i when i get finished with all of my paper piecing and i'm, I'm going to put another triangle in here to cover up the security too uh, and i've got some paper left over that i can I can probably do that with. I've got another piece. But um, when I get finished, I'm going to use my clear gloss on the napkin on the outside. Let it dry. Probably let it dry overnight. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use my clear gloss on each one of these pockets. And I will put something in here to hold it up a little bit like like my scissors and I'm going to clear gloss this this piece and then I'm going to do this piece and then I'll flip my scissors over and I'll do this piece and clear gloss these edges now on this this one these two were the same and this one's going in the opposite direction but it's still the same method so I'm going to end up putting this down and folding these corners back to uh, the corner. 
to make a little shirt collar on that side and then one on this side. And it's working good for me, so I like it. You all might come up with a different way of doing your, your envelopes. Yeah. And look what look what uh, Dana's done. She's using she's letting her brown show the border like a border. Yeah. <clears throat> This will fit right there. This will fit right there. Okay. So, um, she said she was teaching for the standing at the teaching for the knife. We're counterproductive to each other, and my back went out. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. I have a, a, a week reaching. Oh, okay. Um, she was reaching for a knife and threw her back out. I was out in the garage yesterday, and, and my back, oh, it was so tired after I, uh, when I got finished and I went back into the house, uh, I said, I've got to get me a little back brace. So that I, when I do go out into the garage and start throwing clay and kneading my clay, my back won't go out because that's what will happen. And it's uh, nothing personal. It's just I'm weak. I'm just uh, I just haven't done it for so long. And I'm going to be using, you know, muscles I haven't used for a while. So, you know, that's 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 what that's all about. So I'm uh, I got me a little back brace. It was just a ten dollar one. And uh, it'll be here in a couple days. But uh, I'm uh, my clay is my clay is looking good, and uh, I put some water in the bags and and a little bit of bleach. Uh, the bleach helps keep uh, the uh, mold down. Your clay will never ever go bad, but it will mold. And uh, I, I've already had bleach in it before. So, and I put a little more in it just in case there was some mold on the dirt. <laughs> so here's my little book so far. And that's pretty. And that's pretty. I'm just going to put some paper on the security envelope. And that's pretty. All right. So... You can trim up whatever you need to be trimmed. If you need to trim anything, nothing is uh, impossible. So that's good. And that's good. And once this Thanks, glue dries real good, <clears throat> I will be putting a sealer on it. But you could even do use um, <clears throat> your scrapbooking <throat> cardstock paper. That's hard. That's heavy. That's what mine is. Yeah. And your 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 watermarks won't won't. But I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine for me. So, oh, good. Mary likes them. Janet, Janet Burgess likes them. Does that mean you guys are going to 
play in this in the envelope swap <laughs> for April. You gonna to try to make one? This is a challenge. This is a challenge for you guys. And if I don't have enough people to to swap this, yes, this is a prototype exactly. But if you know, if I if I make another one, I'm gonna make it just like this one. I might use different paper, but I do love this napkin. Um, uh, if if I don't get enough people to sign up to trade, it might be just a few people who want to do this. And you've got all month to make it. Yes, you've got lots of time. And you've got time enough to do one. And maybe uh, uh, if you're like me, you might... You might already have already see I, I started this and I threw it over there and brought got me two more two more new envelopes and started over. I've already started over once, you guys. <laughs> well, Dana was explaining I was gluing and I glued these really way off. These were way off. <laughs> how far off this was. And I couldn't it the glue would not let me uh <laughs> the glue was not forgiving. <laughs> But, you know, it, it, you can make a junk journal style, you know, and, and make it wonky. Ronnie, who is Sherry Van, is going, to, is going to do it. Oh, good. Should I start a list of names of who wants to do it? Now, now my, my, my security envelopes are real thin, okay? The paper is really thin. So I really do need to stop playing with it and let it dry because my paper is start ripping right here and right here i've been goofing off with it too much so i need to let it sit and let it dry mary it can be whatever theme it doesn't matter yeah there's no no theme it's just you could you do anything you want it's for april so make it with flowers well, she, she only has certain things with her oh <laughs> Okay, well that's good. Uh, that that'll be fine, Mary. <laughs> uh, uh, you might you might go to the Dollar Tree while you're down here, you know, and find you something. <laughs> you never know, Mary. You're bound to go to the Dollar Tree at least once and find some stuff. They always have different stuff at different Dollar Trees. You know that, right? <laughs> I mean, you're going to be down here a month. You know, you might you might be able to make it. You could get you some pretty napkins and do a theme, and do uh, do do uh, do some tags to make to to go with <clears throat> tags to match, and some other little things that you can make to put in your pockets to go with. See. Uh, but I'm gonna let this sit. I think I, I think I've I've played with it enough. So uh, mine's almost Dana, done. Dane is almost done. Um, another thing that I've been wanting to do, and I'm just talking about it, but I have a a, a scrapbook over here. Uh, well, let me get it. I'll get it since Dane is still working on hers. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I have a, scrap, a scrapbook that I have ephemera in. Let's see if I can find it. I found it. I have this. Can't see you. What did she do? Did she bump herself out? <laughs> yeah, she bumped herself out. She'll come I back. bumped myself out. <laughs> I hit the mouse. <laughs> it's dangerous. But anyway, I'm going to make myself big for just a minute. And then I'll make Dana big so we can oh, see how fine. she's doing it. 
this is a this is a, a scrapbook that I got from the dollar uh, from the Habitat uh, secondhand store, and it's a um, it's a real hardback uh, scrapbook, and I've got ephemera in it. And um, and it sits over on you know on my shelf over here, and sometimes I forget about it, you know. But as we get in in, in here, it's got all kinds of pocket uh, these clear pocket things. And what I wanted to do is one day is to get in here and look and make some more ephemera. To go in the empty pocket, <clears throat> and uh, I've got I've got card jumbo cards in here. I've got money in here, and I've got <coughs> like this one here has three <clears throat> pockets that are that are empty. So I could I need to make some things to put in these pockets, and then when you make a junk journal, you can go through here. And say, oh, I can put this in it, and I can put this in it, and you can get a whole variety of things to put in your uh, your junk journals. You know, you've got uh, these. You can put playing cards in there. See, I forgot I had it, had even had those. And then here are some um, little uh, note cards that you can put in pockets in your junk journals, and they all say different things journaling cards so those could go in into your junk journal and you can pull you know one of those out anything you know anything these are all made up to be used in your art and i have all these i have made a bunch of these little envelopes and i put surprises in them little flowers and doodads and it's a um it's a little envelope and I learned this off of the internet somewhere. I don't know where. You know who does it? Huh? Tanya, Tanya and Lisa. They call it their pantry. Yeah, they collect the camera. They do. And they, they do. make it for their journals ahead of time. Yep. Yeah. And I've had this for a long time. And and I've been putting things in it for, you know, years. But it needs some new things. And I'm sure that I could put more things in it. And uh, uh, there's more journaling card. Here's some uh, uh, medallions that I'm, I made. These are uh, punches, punches that I made. And there's some more deck of cards. There's another tag. Uh, the, I made these up. I, thought, I don't know why I did it, but I made them, OK? I just made them. There's envelopes. And these envelopes, let's see what I did to them. Has a belly band on it. It's a little tiny envelope. And it has a, a belly band on it. And I can't seem to slide it off. So I'm just going to rip it open. And then you get into the envelope, and there's surprises in this envelope. So uh, I have a punch that punches this envelope. And then you fold the three sides in on the bottom, and then this is the top flap. And these little envelopes. And I used to, and I have a whole bunch of them already made up. And then I made these little toothpicks. Um, these are like something you'd find. Um, for, cake, for cupcakes, you know, on toothpicks. But you can also put these in your junk journal. Toothpicks are thin enough to use in your junk journal. And I put these medallions on, on some and the hearts on some to stick in your in your junk journals. So I got a bunch of those made up. Here's some more cards. Uh, some of these cards and tags... Uh, some of these are little cards that you'd put inside of a greeting card. And uh, I've had these, I've had this since high school. I've had it that long. And uh, you could, you know, put funny cards in your junk journals. 
and uh, but those are super old. Congratulations cards, you know, and 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 then when you open the greeting card, it falls out. It's like it's like something extra to put in your mail. <clears throat> and uh, and I also made some tags out of these are kitchen tie uh, kitchen top samples. Uh, in the uh, Lowe's department, you know, you go over to the, where the countertops are, and you can you can uh, politely take two or three of these if you if you go over to to Lowe's, and you can do the same thing with your paint chips. You could go over there, and they will allow you to take two or three samples. And if you go over there, and every time you go into Walmart, and you take two or three samples every time you go in there, then you accumulate quite a bit of these paint chip samples I put colored paper on the back side and then the other side is the countertop color and you can easily put a word on there you know or something uh, made up ephemera and and uh, that there's more tags and then I found these cards uh, at a flea market. They, there was a whole bunch of cards, and I wanted the envelopes if they were going to throw them all away. And and, uh, and I saved the cards. I, if they're graduation cards for a party. I've got some antique. Uh, these are pretty. These are cute. Antique greeting cards uh, to a dear one-year-old. And this is very old, 1958. This is as old as I am. Mm-hmm. Beth, you should see some of the stuff I have. Uh, yeah. Made in the USA. I can't read the other part. Here's a little Holly Hobble. She's old. Dearest Beverly. Avalanche. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I just had a little, a little uh, shifting there. Fix that back up. But anyway, um, I think you get the gist of uh, ephemera. <laughs> I think I went on a rabbit trail. So I've got some ribbon here. Let me tie my my book back up. And I can put it back over in the shelf. But I need to get in here and and uh, do some more ephemera and make and just make ephemera one day. Let's see now I got that much tied. Here's my other string. There it is. So, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But I just got this tied in a bow and it it keeps it pretty organized for me. It's heavy. So I can just put that back there and put that up in a little bit. So let me get back over to Dana and see where she is. And let her show her, her book. You want to show your book all? Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't finish it, but it's okay. I did she's create on it. She's still working on it. Okay. And... That's the inside. And then I'll do something here and put something else up here. And then fill it up. And fill it this up. This is what okay. we did last week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, good night, Janet. Janet's going to bed now. Night. Sweet dreams. Janice Gons. Okay. I will mail your package very soon.
like tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so we're going to paint a donkey. And I think I've got my phone right here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Facebook group. Oh, there it is. So we're going to paint a donkey, and he's, he's, he's hiding funny. under a hat. He's hiding, and he's eating the flowers, the spring flowers that are coming up. So let's just see what we can do. He's cute. Somebody put this on their Facebook page, or snatched it. Okay. <laughs> We're going to borrow it and make it our own. We will make it our own. So, uh, I'm thinking about putting scrapbook paper down. Um, some of my scrapbooking paper. Let's see what we can find. I don't know why I thought about it, but that's what I just thought about. Background paper. This is holiday stuff. I want spring, summer, school. That's summer. That's summer. That's 4th of July. And Father's Day. Here's tulips. Easter. And St. Patrick. And Valentine's. So I'm going to think I'm going to use some of this for the bottom for March. And we'll have to get this out and use it for Easter. Then. I think I've taken all the blue out of this book. Gage. Because uh, that would have been pretty and that would have been pretty. They were quiet. <clears throat> I've gotten it all out already. Here's more. Let's try this one. Does this have any blue in it? Designer paper. Something like that in a blue. Green, pink. That might be all right for the top and the bottom. I don't think I've got any blue in here. I got that. That's a little busy. Let's see about this one. Poolside. This is one of my favorite ones. I got this at Walmart. It's called Poolside, and it's got a lot of blues. Let's find one for our background. Isn't that funny how we find stuff like that <clears throat> at odd places? Yeah. <coughs> so that might be cute in the background with a donkey on it. I 
I think I'm going to try this one. It's usually the first ones you pick. It's what it is. Okay, I've got my two pieces of paper. That's what I'm going to go with. Alrighty. Thank you, Alicia. Yep. That was from our little um our little game thing that we play. Jen, it's going to bed too. She's gotta go. It's late over there in the in the kingdom. She's over in the kingdom. My donkey got a big old head compared to his body. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. So I'm going to glue this down. Uh -huh. So now first, and this one down second. And I'm going to paint on top of this. So, how are they? Hello, Barb. How do you do? How do you do? We're painting. We're going to paint a little uh, donkey. We are. We are. work right here. Nothing wrong with that. Just a little a little a little repair job. Oh, 
we can't see where I repaired it, but right there, I repaired it right here. And now I'm going to squish my phone over there. And I'm going to trim this off the back. Got. Okay, that's where my donkey's going to sit. He's going to sit right here. And I did get some uh, St. Patrick's stuff. You did. Let's see if I can find it. Y'all, Gage used to like love pa like St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so um, every St. Patrick's Day, I would cook him green eggs and ham. Now what? Every St. Patrick's Day, like he loves St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> so Scott does. No, Gage. Oh, Gage does. He used to. So, every St. Patrick's Day, I would cook him green eggs and ham. Yeah. Well, you better get ready. <laughs> and it might be... Uh, we had green mashed potatoes one time. We had to put green food coloring in our mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, she was very that. creative uh, while cooking. Uh, my mother was. She uh, she was just creative. Well, here he is. Here he is. I'm gonna have to put some of these guys on my page. This was from uh, Rhonda, and that's a little flower. But if you turn it over, it's on green paper. <laughs> and he's gonna be eating flowers. Yeah, uh, like it. <clears throat> I gotta get him some flowers going here. My little guy has a big old head. See if I got any more of those other flowers. I know I do. I might as well just get it all back out again because there is stuff in here I want. I'm gonna leave these out, the stickers. I don't need this will go in my Christmas box i got some christmas to put away i love all my watercolor things put them back in here here's the flowers that he can be eating so i'm gonna leave those out put the easter things in here and she sent me winnie the pooh and uh, Mickey, Minnie Mouse, and 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 Daisy Duck. See these flowers can be flipped over. Yeah, that's what we'll do. This will make a pretty journal. Uh, envelope, flip book. Oh yeah. And here's some more flowers. We'll see. This one says memory and that is a little uh ephemera for something else put that away and put this away and we'll use those and i don't know if i'll need any of these or not but there's a couple of little flowers and there's some flowers on there all right so now we just have to paint and then we get to use these things First things first, it's a very cute donkey. So I'm just going to go right into it and get some brown paint. And Teresa's already done. She sent me three photos. 
Holy smokes, woman. She she sketched it. I'm sure she sketched it. No, she finished her envelope. Um, I'm not in the group, so I'm sending to you. Oh, look what she did. Look at that. Awesome. That's like <clears throat> mulberry paper. Uh -huh. And here's the envelope. So if she sends me one, I'll send her one. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Her three envelopes. Beautiful, Teresa. She says, I'm not in the group. You are too. <laughs> so she's going to send it to me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> you promised. You said it right here. She says, I'm not in the group. I'm sending to you right there. That's there. what it says. That's what it says right there. I have it in writing. Judge Judy considers um, messaging uh, proof of on you know he said he says she says uh, she 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 will if you print it out oh, yeah for real you put it in your paper you put it in writing you're screwed yeah and you can you can make your own you can make these you know you could send this to your, to somebody else's phone and make it sound like you're from somebody else. Oh well, they had, they don't know. They just don't know. So anyway, I'm gonna get my painty water over here. And get my paintbrush. And I think I'm gonna try this brush. And I'm gonna make my donkey. So He's got a hat on, and maybe I better sketch it out. Oh, heaven. Just a little. So here's one ear. I'm going to place an order real quick, Beth. Place an order? Yeah, for food. We don't have a kitchen, remember? Oh, my heaven. She's <laughs> worn out. <laughs> She's got to feed her kids. My phone doesn't connect to Facebook anymore, so I'm Ricky until. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what she meant. I'm not in the group. Okay. But if she sends it to me, and if anybody else wants to send me theirs, I can mix them all up, and, and maybe somebody else will get one of hers. So here's part of the hat. This goes down, and this goes to the front. And there's a band. I can use a real ribbon on his hat. There's there's his hat. And there's his ears. Hee-haw, hee-haw, and he's got, it, they've got his ears looking like leaves, but they're really, they've got these little furry things in there. Well, yes, doll, you know, if you want it, it's yours. <laughs> She's going to give it to me, and then I took it back, I gave it back, and then we... <laughs> Heavens. No, I'm a giver. I like to give. Okay. But if sorry. somebody else has something. All right. Back Here's to work. His bottom lip. I know my donkey's got a big old head compared to his body. <laughs> 
he's got a big old grin. I'm thinking I'm going to have to give him, I'm going to get one little peep of an eye under there. I gotta have an eye on my. Well, I can draw. I can. I can rebel. Quit. Do, quit cheating. There's his nostril. We're used to you cheating. Are you kidding me? There's his nostril, <clears throat> and there's his neck, and his neck goes down. He's gonna have a short body. By the time I get down here to the green. His hooves might be on the on the on the uh, the clover. Yeah, mine is like. And then he's got the back of his neck, like that. And then his rump. And then his tail. And it feathers out. Yeah, that's what I'll do. He's going to have his hoofs down here. And then uh, his, his, and then over here is his, his knees and hips. And then it goes up. To his front leg and then it comes down and bows out a little bit and then it goes down to here to his other hoof and then here's his knobby they got knees horses mm -hmm. have knees yep. And then this is going to go up to his chest. And he's got a tie on. <clears throat> he's got a tie. Oh, yeah. I didn't draw that in. Very there's good. his other hoof. There's hoof. And there's his front hoof over here. And then this knee goes up, and there's his belly. Something like that. It's different. That's all I can say. And he's got a tie. Something like that. He's going to look funny without an eye, but that's it. That's what he is. And then his teeth. Let me put his teeth in. Gay just had allergies or getting a cold. I don't know. But he is struggling. <clears throat> And then he's got some flowers hanging out of his mouth. <coughs> and then and then this is all kind of brown and then white. Okay, and then and then on the back of his thing he's got a, uh his mane. A short mane. And 
and then this tail. Okay. It's pretty good. So here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm painting over the paper. Okay, everybody doing all right? Mm This part of the brown. Yellowish. And this paint's covering up the paper pretty good, so that's good. Okay, in the back leg, see if it covers up this green, I think it does, I think it will. And then this is his back. And then I have his tail. So, uh, for all of you all that just came in a little bit later, uh, next, I was going to start doing some polymer clay with Rebecca, uh, and she's she's been under the weather she, uh, since she came back from vacation. So, um, it might not be this week if we start to polymer clay. It might be next week, but we will be. Uh, doing some polymer clay soon. I've already got uh, everything together. I just need to clear my desk off a little bit more so I can get it all up here. And uh, and I found a really cool looking 
<clears throat> I, I've got a, a bead book, a polymer clay beads. And this little book that I have, I'll show it to you because um, it, it might enable some of you if you're if there if we have any polymer clay people. Uh, does anybody play do polymer clay and do beads in the uh, chat room tonight? Do we have anybody that loves that kind of stuff? Uh, Rebecca has been interested in polymer clay for quite a while, and I put it off for long enough, and so I'm I'm ready to get it out and uh, show her what we can do with it. Um, she might be watching in the background and uh, i'll show her this book if she's if she's watching i like to mess with it but i wasn't messing with it so i got rid of mine except for a couple i got a couple packs okay but um, um i don't have my oven anymore to yeah um there's there's so much to learn with the polymer clay uh, it's all, it's like pottery. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Teresa says, "Ooh, Beth, you can make me a foot for my keyboard. Yay, a foot, okay, for your keyboard." Why is not my sure keyboard? what that means? But uh, she says, "I got to get me a foot because it dances on my leg." <clears throat> Okay, I don't know, but don't. But anyway, but anyway, I'm going to take just one little break and show show you the bead book that I've got. I've had this book for a long time. Uh, <clears throat> I've been doing beads. Uh, this I bought this up at Hobby Lobby 10, 15 years ago, and. Um, so I've been doing beads for a long time and I've got some polymer clay things in the closet. I'll have to try to find um, to show you, but all of the, all of my clay was, she's kidding. Okay. Teresa, I'll make, I'll make you something. Uh, but anyway, um, you have to seal your clay when, after you bake it, you have to seal it yeah. for over a period of time it'll get sticky and gooey and it, it, it needs to be sealed. And I didn't know that uh, when I used to play with polymer clay, but this is a really, really nice book. And um, um, <clears throat> I love this book. It, 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 the beginning of the book talks about materials, okay? There's so much information in this one little book. Um, there's It talks about the materials and techniques. And then it talks about equipment. And then it talks about conditioning your clay and baking, baking your clay. It has a lot of tips and tricks in it. It has color and mixing, how to color and mix your clays. It's got blending. It's got how to cut and splice, how to mold, how to do canes, how to uh, use foil, how to use uh, other things that you can use with your clay, like acrylic paints. And um, I love this book. It, it's a, it's just a, it talks about everything. And I, I learned not too long ago, uh, somebody I was watching, and she was making, I had her on as a guest, and I've already forgotten her name. I can see her. But anyway, she was making polymer clay things, and she was using the translucent clay. And she also mentioned about liquid clay. Yeah, and I yeah. never really fiddled with these two items before, but I did learn about them just recently. But you can use your embossing powders. You can use your metallic powders. You can use paint. Like rub and buff. And- yes. Yeah. And and your ink of gold. And you can use the uh, 
the leaf gold and you can use uh there's just so many things that you can you can really do with your clay and you can also embellish it with with seed beads and yeah. uh and you can embed like shining and different things like that as well um some of the it talks about some of the tools you can use with your clays uh you can uh, you, you know, you can drill, you can use a drill bit. I do have a Dremel tool right down here in this drawer. I was going to try to get it out and see if I could uh, use it in my clay. And it talks about different knives and exacto knives and, and, and uh, straight knives and things like that. And it talks about you can use cheese graters and all kinds of textures for textures and things. You can Extra use extruders. Place. You can use a garlic press. You can do lots of things with your with your clay. You can, of course, it talks about your pasta machine and your oven. I have a toaster oven just for my polymer clay. I have a, 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 a thermometer thing that goes in the oven over here in my box. I've got a timer. Uh, uh, you can use your brayers with your rollers. You can use all kinds of rolling tools anywhere from a straight glass to uh, a dial rod you don't have to buy any tools you can use a lot of stuff around the house and it talks about there's i have a little plastic bead roller that i got i found out in the garage that's what i went out in the garage just to find that bead roller and i found it and uh and it talks about wires and different things that you would use to uh uh, shape and mold your clays and and the wires would be to make your holes in your in your beads and this is all about beads mostly beads and jewelry it talks about how to condition your clay it talks about how to fill up your baking tray when you put it in and you bake and talks about temperatures and guides and things like that it um, now we get into uh how to make certain things with your clay if you use two knitting needles you can roll your clay out and keep it it would be the same thickness by using two knitting needles uh, on each side of your clay and then rolling your clay and your clay is going to be exactly the same thickness all the way across if you want to use your cookie cutters and make anything it you know that means they would all be the same thickness that would be good it talks about how to make snakes and strings and marking tools it talks about you could use a comb to mark your beads uh, and to make sure you cut them all exactly the same size so you'll have your beads the same size little chips and tricks uh, and do gradients it talks about how to grade not only sizes but color you know from a dark to a blonde uh, it talks about how to you can twist your your clay twist two colors together and blend to make a new color we know all about blending but it it shows you how to do your clay instead of just mixing it together you'd make two long snakes and then twist it and then and then roll it again and twist it again roll it again and twist it again until it blends it would blend faster and you fold it over upon itself and it talks about uh uh, here's marbling effect by taking a yellow and a green together and you make it marble and you put it through the uh, the, the pasta machine and, and blend it together. It talks about lots of things. Here is here's how you you are color blending things and you can do half yellow, half red and with orange in the middle to make it like a tie dye. It shows you how to make do that in this book. It also talks about combing and feathering. You um, you make you put down a dark brown, and then you put this um, this twisted this twisting collar on top of it. You put it through the, the pasta machine and make a thin thing, and then you lay it on top of the dark brown, and then you draw drag your toothpick through it to make lines like you're decorating a cake. You know that kind of stuff. A lot of a lot of a lot of tips in here a lot of tips how to do different designs um and then the, it shows you the beads at the top of each page like when you're dragging your toothpick through that through those stripes you're making this this de design right here on this page 
and it's beautiful it's beautiful how they do it um and different shapes how to make a roll how to do canes simple canes uh rebecca was saying i don't want to do canes I, she said i don't want to do it i don't want to do it I, well she don't have to do it but i will do a cane and i will make a design uh you can do a, a zero a, a black and white roll or two collars and then here's one that has three collars it's white in the middle with a with a pink wrapped around it and then a black wrapped around it and you keep rolling it out thinner and thinner and thinner and you make two or three cuts and you can make a flower out of that it's cute cute make to make canes i love to do canes and uh just different little things you, you use your cookie cutters and embellish and then you can do geometric faucet beads and then it shows you how to to do your cutting and your slicings and how to be fancy with your knives i don't know that i have a, a big knife a straight knife like that uh, but i do have an exacto knife and and uh, i'll have to i knew i was going to do that i spilled my blue water <sighs> clean up on aisle three Um, this book is, is, is awesome. I got to take a break because I just spilled something. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very much. That's good. It's all cleaned up now. That's it. I just cleaned my desk off the other day because I spilled the green paint that we played with the other night. Remember the green paint? The green watered down that we did the bubbles with? Yeah. I spilled it. <laughs> but anyway, this I will show you some more of this book later on when we get into polymer clay. But it's got so many things in here. And I got to the color and mixing page and the slicing and dicing. And then we get into uh, some more uh, this the spiral. I'm, I can I can show you how to make a spiral roll and do that. That's fun to do with two different colors. You can do it in black and white or in, and you make a cane. And, uh, and the cane is a long snake of, of the whole thing. And you can roll it out. You make it big. And then you roll it and roll it and roll it uh, out to make it thinner and thinner. And it gets smaller and smaller. And you can see the very <coughs> from big all the way down to this size. And then when you get the little ones, you cut them. You cut the snakes apart and you put them together to make more. And then you have, then you have a bunch of things together like this. And you can do designs like that with all the little tidy canes and make beads out of them. So uh, it's fun. It's fun to do. But it gets into embossing. And I've got some of my embossing uh, things that I have here. I've got plenty of embossing uh, templates to use uh, if you want to do designs that way. Uh, then you can get, get into your little stone, your little drop bead, beads, and you can do triangles and ovals and things like that. And all, all of here's here they show you how to make a heart bead, and you just make a, a little M and M bead, and then you push it onto a corner of a box, of a hard box, and to make that heart shape, and it's easy to do. And then they have these funky, funky designing beads, and then you can make a chain. Um, lots of different kind of beads, lots and lots of different kind of shapes in here. And that, and that, I'm not even halfway through the book yet. So that just goes to show you how, how many things that this, this book offers. Uh, it'll be a, it'll be, um, it'll be a book that you just will never get tired of. And then you have, um, you can make your beads like stones. You can make it's got findings what you would use with your metals and, th and your jewelry parts it shows you it shows you a, a variety of findings 
on a page in the back here, bringing it all together. But it, you can make turquoise uh, beads to look like turquoise. You can make them look like silver, jade, bronze, coral, and leather. I think leather is so cool to make a, make a bead look like that leather. These are these are polymer clay pieces, and they look like pieces of leather. That's fun. Uh, ivory and bone. You can make your clay look like ivory and bone, and you and it shows you how to do the markings. Here's marbled, wood looking. You can make your make make a polymer clay beads look like wood, like those donuts. <laughs> tons and tons in this book, and never you. I just don't see anybody um getting bored with this book there is something in here for everybody but that that's my polymer clay beads uh making polymer clay bead book and it's by carol blackburn if you're interested in it but i'll, I'll be looking through this book again with um becca when she comes on so but i just wanted to give you all a sneak peek just what a sneak peek Did that get you excited about polymer clay, Dana? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> so now it's I want to like I would have done it more, but I really struggled with getting it um to cook in my um oven without burning. Yeah. And, and evenly. Like it wasn't just that it burn it, it was burn on one end but not another. Or, you know, it was like hot. Well, I had no idea. My oven has been on the back porch for over 10 years and Joe got it out and cleaned it up and sanded it down a little bit because it was all rusty and he says it works. So uh, I found a thermometer, an oven thermometer in the garage. So uh, I've got a thermometer to put in it To I even uh, had one and I just couldn't, couldn't never. So I thought that might help. Uh, But I think the last time I I baked anything, I just baked it for 15 minutes and took it out, you know. Right. Or whatever it said to do. Yeah, I mean, like, I tried messing with it, and it just it made me mad. Yeah. So, I, uh, but. And I have burnt, I have burnt my clay before, so so I do understand that part too. I'm using this white, and it's not, it's some of the stripes are peeping through. So I might go with uh, some gesso and see if it doesn't help make his belly a little wider. And his nose is going to be white. Okay, a little bit there. What are you doing? Donkeys don't like to be painted orange. Uh, does mine look orange? It's brown. Oh. Do I need to put another coat? No. 
depends on what color you want your donkey. Well, I thought he looked pretty good. And Teresa's got to go power up. I still need my brown back. Do what I did with it. I know it's here somewhere. Let's try a different shade. I um I've told you all that one of my new followers just lives 15 minutes from me. Her name's Angie and uh she she watches me on the replay a lot. Well, anyway, um she joined my group and everything and she's got a craft room and all the just everything and she is planning on having a craft day on Friday and I'm going to go awesome I've decided Joe says are you going I said yep I'm going to go so it's it, you bring your own little basket of whatever you want to work on take it with you and and you're going to we're going to sit around and, and craft together and she says if it's just cutting and gluing then it's cutting and gluing so, uh, you know, you could take a whole bunch of fussy painty papers or something like that. Or if you want to crochet or knit or uh, I could, you know, whatever I want to take, I can take to work on. So I haven't decided what I'm taking, but uh, I might just take some scrapbooking paper and take that heart book and, and uh, do all the pages up in that. And uh, once I get started, and and uh, and and I won't have to, uh, if I'm not, you know, teaching anything, I can really do a lot, get a lot of work done fast. So yep. I'm looking forward forward to catching up on some of my work. Uh, so that'll be fun. And I have another idea, and I might just do it with this uh, heart book. I haven't decided yet, but um, I was watching somebody, and again, I've been watching so many people, new people, I don't <coughs> remember who it was, but they were making a book, a new little book, and they were using it and stamping in all of their stamps, and, and I would like to make a book like that and, and put, but they, she was using the stamps. And then if you want to, if you want to tear a stamp out to use, um, you know, it's like a flow book on your desk. And, uh, and I was just wanting to make a stamp book just to show my stamps uh, and see what I had, you know, uh, not necessarily, I guess I could tear them out if I want to use them, but, but it sort of reminds me of the stamps that I have, like a little library. <laughs> donkeys don't like to be painted orange Brenda said uh, painted a big orange spot on their side so hunters oh, did not shoot them for deer oh my heavens I didn't know they did that but yeah I could see uh, thanks Brenda that's, that's, a, that's pretty that's awesome wow okay. and donkeys protect gotcha. your um protect your animals yeah so i did the, i did another nutmeg on top of the brown that i had and i like it 
it's fine. Now, he's got a red scarf. Yep. And I've got some crimson red here. It's a, it's a mauvey red. That's what we're going to put on them. Break the monotony up here. So, uh, oh, that one's pinky red. It's dark. Well, this brush has had it. Let's see if we can paint this tie here. Give it justice. I guess you could put an orange, an orange tie on your donkey instead of a red one. Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to to bring your donkey in uh, if you got any donkeys. Put them in the barn for a while. No, they protect your other animals. Yeah. My um, friend, they lived on a farm and um, we would go down there and they had, there was a donkey there and he loved, loved cigarettes, to eat cigarettes. Oh, he yes. liked the green. Uh-huh. He would beg her for them. It was funny. He'd see her coming and she he would start hee-hawing. See, I need to find my donkey back. Here we go. <coughs> head. My lady Betty's gotten so big. Really? Yeah. How old is she now? Um, nine months old. Well, she's about the, I think about a year, isn't it? It's about the size they'll get. Yeah, and I'm hoping that, I mean, like, her head is still not real, not big as Lola's. I'm hoping it stays, that she stays kind of small. Yeah. Lola's big, um, but she's not fat. She's just a big girl. Yeah, she's just growing up. Letty, I hear you. <laughs> she's into something. So I need some <coughs> more white and some black. A black. Let's see if I can get some black out of here. It's almost empty. But you just need a little bit. Just need a little bit. I think Gage is wore out from working. He ain't used to having to work long hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> eight, eight hours at a time. Sometimes more. They've been... He's been having to work extra, too. Does he uh, get overtime? Yeah. You probably like that and is it like time and a half? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to love working overtime. 
Yeah, he <clears throat> he hadn't got a first paycheck yet, so he'll be he'll be happy when that happens. Do they keep his first one? Um, it's you know he gets paid every two weeks, so I don't know. I don't. They he'll keep, probably get a, a week. Sometimes they keep the first week. <clears throat> yeah, he'll probably get a week. So I don't know what that's all about, but I uh, I remember you that happening and then you had we always had a uh, of course i worked at the hospital and they're very you know professional and uh after 90 days i became permanent everything was temporary until 90 yeah, days until 90, yeah and that's pretty much everywhere and uh and then i always got a performance raise after 90 and then uh, every year you would get a little raise, two, three cent raise. And they added up. I worked over 10 years at the hospital, so I got, I get retirement. Yep. I worked 12 at the cancer center. Yeah. I worked. And that's like hospital, yeah. I worked five at the other hospital that I worked at. I liked working at the hospital, but after a while, it works your butt over. Yeah, I worked, I was young, so I was able yeah. to do it. And, uh, yeah, you definitely have to my, be able to charge nurses they they liked me and they said oh you know if there was a snow blizzard or anything like that they say you're not going home you're staying here tonight because i know nobody's going to come into work tomorrow and she would make me stay the night <laughs> and she'd find me a room to sleep in oh yeah place. and then and then i would then i would be there for day term because she knew Mm -hmm. the girls who lived far out in the do in the boonies wouldn't be able to make it in well and, and that's kind of the same way with our hurricane crap and uh yeah yeah but i was so young and willing you know and it and those charge nurses they knew how to work you buddy mm-hmm but I did good. So there's part of my donkey. So I wish I could go back and work at the hospital. They make a chunk now compared to what I was making. Uh huh. Oh yeah. My niece, she's kicking back the dollars. Okay, I think I'm going to get the gray out next. But she's got lupus too, so it's starting to work work on her. Your sister? My niece does. Oh. Yeah, we both do. Is it uh, hereditary? I don't think. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. But she has more rheumatoid symptoms and stuff but i mean it's it's connective tissue disorder either way so well my mom had the fibromyalgia but i don't know anybody else that has it it's she sucked. didn't like she didn't like her back to be rubbed or touched uh-uh me neither my neck oh my god my husband always wants to rub my neck and I'm like, do not. And he just is appalled that I don't want him to rub my neck. I'm yeah, like, it that. is painful. Like, painful. So I'm making his hooves. I went and had a, a massage one time and 
that was painful as crap for me. We'll have to outline his hooves. Yeah, I'm having to outline stuff because these browns kind of blend. Letty's in there aggravating the crap out of Lola. Okay. She aggravating you, Lola. Lola, come in here. Come in there to escape. <laughs> yeah. She she knows that I'll I'll save her. Mommy, help me, help me, help me. Get on the ready. So, what'd you do with the straw hat? I'm working on it. Is it yellow or? I'm. I added like yellow to my brown and made it like a crap <laughs> color it's like a well, it's not really yellow it's more yeah it's like a crap brown baby shit brown okay i'm going to do the beach comber tan and then i'll do the second coat with a yellow on top see if that'll work Or semi work. Yeah, it's definitely a baby crap color. This is like a khaki brown. You know, ever since I've been uh, on this keto diet, I have I have, need to knock on wood. I really haven't had too many uh, coughing spells in here like I used to. No. And uh, I used to always have to take a cough drop in here. And I always thought I was allergic to something in here. Yeah. But it sounds like I was maybe allergic to food. <laughs> Could something be. I've been eating. Yeah, it could be. That I don't eat anymore. Yep. Allergies are are crazy. Like they make you feel like crap and you it's hard to figure out what's what. Yeah. But I do have spells where I I, I go into a sneezing fit and <clears throat> and uh, it's like when the dogs come in from outside and there's a lot of pollen and see we had a real big heavy rain not I know pollen right now. Ugh. so everything was knocked down so that it, the air is clear now and yeah we're too many allergy problems gage is he he's really really struggling with it like it gets well, he, needs to, he needs to take you know claritin or something i guess i went and bought him some 60 tablets was $35. Is it prescription? Um, I can probably get him prescription. Um, 
but it's been a long time since he's had to take like prescription. Um, and so I'd have to get him an appointment with his doctor. You just got over the counter. Yeah. It's the same crap. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Put a little light coat of this yellow on top. And then I can do some fine line with a micro pen after it dries. I found me a, a spinning wheel, but I don't. I, I told the girl I didn't want it. She lives on the other side of Orlando, and if I go to Claremont and go down, it's a two-hour and twenty-minute drive. But if I take I four and go straight down on I four and go through all the toll booths, it's an hour and a half. So. Uh, where does she live? Davenport? She lives over there on the other side of Orlando, south of South. Like Kissimmee? Because, I mean, I live like about 20 minutes from Davenport. Um, oh, I'd have to look it up. Uh, but anyway, she uh, when I figured it out, it was two hours to get over to her house. I thought, well, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I didn't think I'd want to do it for that. But she she came down another, she came down $25 the first time, and now she came down another 10 It's $65 for the spinning wheel. Well, Beth, if you come over this way, guess who lives close? I know. I could take a whole day off and go. And, and I said, and then Joe kind of, he kind of went, meh. Nah. And I thought, well, okay, I'm not going to beg him to take me because he would Tell have Joe to. Joe, he'll get to see me. Uh, he, <laughs> he, 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 you know, he, he wanted to play. He wanted to play 20 questions about it, and I wasn't going to go that route. And I said, if it's going to be that big of a deal, I'm not going to do it. So um, she lives in uh, right below Claremont. Okay. Uh, Four Corners, kind of. Celebration. Oh, Celebration, yeah. That's not far from me at all. Hello. And you're uh, in, uh, let's see if I can find you. Okay. Uh, you didn't get anything there? No. All right. Right, bye. Me. Yeah, um, celebration's about 20 minutes from me, really, about 20 to 30. Okay. Um, but anyway. Um, There's a good place to eat there, too. Uh, oh. And he said, well, if we get go, we need to leave right now. And I, I said, no, not today. I said, because I didn't, I wasn't going to risk him driving over there and then getting lost and losing two or three hours and then not getting back in time to stream tonight. I wasn't going to play that game. You know, um, I just know him. I know how it is. 
and and uh, there's tolls and we got one of those easy pay things yeah. that you put in the car those yeah. those computer things we got one of those so all we have to do is put ten dollars on it and we're good to go yeah because they give you a penalty if you don't pay pay it right. they charge you they charge you extra 75 cents or whatever, you know, but, but you know, never know when they are and you pass them and, and there they were, you know, and, and they never have them. They're not easy to find. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you, you, uh, and I think it's all the way down you four. I go all the way down to four uh -huh. to celebration and then yeah. I get off the celebration and go over to Cyrus Ridge huh. and she lives right up there above Cyrus Ridge yeah it doesn't take me long to get there really I mean it just depends on traffic I-4 traffic is ridiculous anymore yeah yeah oh really? I know I know and that's probably why it gave me the two-hour drive I'm sure uh, and I and it was like way out of the way you, I mean, you go all the way to Mount Dora, and that's just like way too far yeah, over. Yeah, way too far over. But uh, but we went over to Claremont. Oh, there's Winter Garden. You're north of that. Me? No, I'm south. Winter I'm way, Garden. Yeah, I'm way south. Oh, Haven. I'm in Winter, Winter Haven. Haven. I got you. I see it now. I see it now. But anyway. Um, I really and and I went back online and looked and looked and looked for another spinning wheel and this is the perfect one I want. It's it's a tall skinny one and uh -huh. you don't have to have all that extra space for the wheel. It, it's cuz it's all done in in a in a straight horizontal uh the wheel is on the bottom and it spins on top and, uh -huh. and it's all in one you can fit it all in a a 24 inch square you know and it yeah. would take that space and i think i would really really in like it's a it's a upright castle is what it's called and i don't think it's that old old but it's probably you know 70s or 80s maybe but she she doesn't want it anymore and and she said uh she's got to get rid of it and i think she's needing the money because yeah. uh uh uh, tell mr joe suck it up <clears throat> so i'll have to bring it up to him again and and then and then i have to make i have to get her to make a promise that she won't sell it out from under me if i'm going to drive that all the way down there if she still has it because yeah. it might have been gone by now because uh i looked at it on back on uh marketplace is where i found it on facebook so i'd have to I'd have to see if she, you know if she still has it, if she hadn't already sold it, and uh, tell her I'll go ahead and come and get it. But, but I just I just don't want I just don't want to play twenty questions to Joe. I right. Just don't feel like that's necessary. And uh, I don't I, I have to present a case. Tell them Tell that you're me. coming to my house and you and then whenever you're on your way, you say, Oh, we gotta make a pit stop. Well, if we come over that away, <laughs> what time does Scott get home? <laughs> Scott hardly is ever home except for on the weekends. Okay. But we could we can have maybe do dinner or something. Yeah. Because you gotta do you have to still pick up uh Dustin? Dustin from school. Um, he gets out at three o'clock. Did he go but to I, school? Did he go I to school today? Did you yeah. take him to school today? No, I sure oh. didn't. He rode the bus. No, his girlfriend's sister picked him up. I told oh. him I didn't care how he got there, but I wouldn't take him. <laughs> oh, okay. I told him if he wants to go, then he'll get his tail up and get get gone. And he knows he's got to go for, yeah. you know, he's got to graduate. Yeah. I've had my bill of it. That's the rules. Those are the rules. Yep. I mean, 
Do you think they? You think he he skipped? No. I didn't get a call from the school. <clears throat> I know, but he can he can he knows how to refer the phone calls. Yeah, but I um undid it. I got calls from the school today, but it was about other stuff. That's you know senior or junior and senior stuff. I would almost oh I see. They're already getting wanting money in advance for that. Uh-huh. Prom um, coming up. It's a lot different than when I was a kid. They don't want to go to prom. He didn't even he don't even want a classroom. I said, Well, do you want a jacket? Nope. Okay. Mom, mom, uh, that was one thing that mom allowed us to do. Is, uh, well, we I got mine. We didn't I, get all the invitation stuff, but we did. She did allow me to have a ring. Mm -hmm. Well, and, I, have, uh, I mean, I offered it to him, but he don't want it. So because she's got her, she's got her ring. And I think uh, she used to wear her ring, her, her, her college ring. And uh, it was just a, an accomplishment. Well, it's sentimental, you know. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know why you don't want it. Kids are different these days. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. For some reason, I'm able to do outlining pretty good tonight yeah i've been doing it with my brush which is unusual <laughs> i uh, usually have to do it with a sharpie mm -hmm. but it, i'm not doing too bad of a job ready quit aggravating her first thing in the morning and then Late at night, she wants to get rowdy. I think I got it all. Put another stripe on his hat. Outline your, um, what's it called? Your tie. Okay. Because you can't hardly see it. I got to outline mine, too. <laughs> Brenda said that she hadn't been able to work so she's been supposed to be crafting but she's been watching more videos than crafting <laughs> I know and I hate it because I want to do more like things that's and where I want to get that's Whoops. why I wanted to do more uh, ephemera stuff because yeah. I saw somebody else doing more ephemera and I said, I can make some ephemera. I need to make some more ephemera. And I got tons in that book. Yeah, and I got tons everywhere. Well, and then you see stuff and then you buy more crap to make that stuff and then you don't make that stuff and then... <laughs> And you still got more crap. Yeah. So what happens? And I think his lower lip should have a little bit of red. Not too much. Just a little bit of a pink <laughs> on his lip. I always like to do the lip. I didn't put an unflower in mine's mouth, but that's okay. I, I'm going to use stickers for that. It's got teeth. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. 
Good enough. No eye kills me. Not having an eye peeping out under there. He should have one little eye. But I didn't. I didn't rebel. I did what I saw. Not what I think I saw or what I want to see. <laughs> like I'm doing what what uh, what Becca would say. So I got this flower. Oh, these are going to be perfect. They're clear. They're clear. The background's clear. So you, all you see is the flower. So I'm going to cut the stem off a little bit to have it coming out of his mouth. He's got his coming out from his teeth. Oh, it's perfect. And do I have a butterfly floating around somewhere? I think I do on this page. There's a butterfly over there or kind of a, a butterfly or a moth. And then some flowers in the, in the yard here. Perfect. Here's that one. Can you all see the flowers? Just love it when a good plan comes together. his hat just because mine's got a big old nose <laughs> I think my nose is pretty good I'm happy with my nose all right let's see if I can do one of these butterflies So you kind of a yellow butterfly. I'm going to put a yellow butterfly. <coughs> and then I'm going to take my black paint and make a swirly thing. Oh, Brenda, I know I could too. It's amazing how much crap we can hoard in no time. My husband gets aggravated with me. <laughs> it don't do no good. No good. He just has to get aggravated. It's clad in them same britches. Okay, I've got that. And some dot, dot, dots. What else? <clears throat> I think that's it. I didn't paint my background, but I might later. Trying to figure out what he reminds me of. A donkey. <laughs> Shrek. Yeah. The donkey on that's Shrek. It. That's it. So I'll yep. put a little flower on it. I forgot his name. 
Yep. And there's his flowers. <gasps> he turned out cute. <sighs> well, it's 8.32. Let me get back over here on my live. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I need to update this. Uh, oh, you, Brenda, oh, said she could open up a craft store. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I got crap in my craft room, crap in the garage. Mindy says, Jabeth and Dana, have you heard of a city called I'm not sure the name and probably will flutter it. Pentagorda? 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 It's on the west side of the state is all I know of it. Probably. Well, what about it, Mindy? <laughs> probably Pentagorda. It's over there. It's over there on the, that's it. Oh, she don't know anything else. I said, okay. No, never heard of it. Never yeah, Pentagorda is close to um, the coast, like, let me see. Oh, it's up kind of. By Mayaka State Park, Mayaka City. What is the uh, what is it's the donkey Fort name on Shrek? I don't remember. Shrek. Um, he calls him Donkey. Oh, all the time. All lives there. Okay. Let's see, Donkey. Donkey he name. He calls him Donkey all the time. Donkey Kong. Donkey from Shrek. Donkey name. He's just called Donkey. <laughs> <clears throat> Wookie, Dookie, Donkey, Dopey, Jubilee, Herbert, Jacob. These aren't donkey names. That's what the results are. I'll call mine Cigarette. <laughs> Cigarette. A cig. <laughs> Wookie farm. Dean Bat. <laughs> Elvis. Pixie. Dash. Sydney. Tootsie. Humphrey. I, I thought he was like any of them. I thought he was a pretty funny looking. I think character. we did good on him. Yeah, very, he's funny. very uh, lifelike. Well, and he's not like a flower or something, you know, that we do constantly. I did see a, um, let me find my, let me go to my Pinterest. Famous donkeys. Eeyore. Let's uh, Gus, Francis, call him Eddie. He kind of looks like an Eddie with the hat on, doesn't he? Yes. <laughs> Let me get my black paint back out. You see Ooh, this? Eddie? Eddie? What have you been up to, Eddie? You see this guy, Beth? Oh, yeah. The rabbit. rabbit. Yeah, we're going to be doing that close to Easter. We'll have to and do then, something. see this hedgehog? Oh, <laughs> oh that, he's cute. He's cute, too. Send him to me. We'll do him next time. With the clover. Mm-hmm. Blow him up. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, they sent Scott to Jacksonville this time. But he's got to go back to Alabama. Or Georgia, I mean. <clears throat> okay, there he is. Little Eddie. Oh, Brenda came up with Roscoe, Maggie, Toby, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. All right. Well, I'll thank you. The I haven't done as much as you and Becca have. I know. It was Eddie. Eddie Murphy did the donkey, I think. Eddie Murphy. Wasn't that him who did the yeah. donkey? Yeah. On Shrek. Yeah. I've only done like one. I skipped that one because I needed to couldn't didn't have an eraser. Three, four, five. I've only got five. Five more pages left in your book? No. No, I only did I've only done five. Oh, okay. Well they add up. They uh, especially if you if you know if I do one three times a week, mm -hmm. you know that really adds up. Uh, I'll flip through. See if I can do a little flip through for you. See, this was supposed to be a hedgy <laughs> hedgehog, a poor version <laughs> of a hedgehog, but we did them anyway. <clears throat> My cookies turned out pretty tasty. <clears throat> he looks more like a little um otter. And I think she turned out really cute. She's cute. Yeah, I wanted to do her. I missed her. Penny Ann. And she turned out really cute. She was paper piece. Mm -hmm. paste. I like doing that though. Like didn't we start out with something on the paper first on her? Uh, we did her dress, her dress in paper. Yeah, I've done a lot of different things throughout the book. Uh, there's all my roosters. Mm -hmm. I've done that one in another book and that one. That's where we started this year, right there. January, yeah, this was January 26th. Yep. Uh, this was January 19th. Oh. This was January 12th and January the 10th. Oh, yeah. Well, this and is my... Yeah, so I'm a, I mean, I have a couple more in another book. And this one, I don't have to go back and look. I don't know. It's January. I'll just put January, but I don't see it. I don't see it in there. It's anywhere. But uh, they're so cute. They're all cute. Yep. Paint and watercolors <clears throat> and crayons and. You did that with something else, didn't you? Did you use paint on that cat? Huh? You didn't use paint on that cat, did you? Yeah. Did you? Yep. <clears throat> I can't remember. Let's take Most of them are paint. This one has flowers. Uh, punch outs. Oh. Uh, Put punch okay. and. I got some three leaf clovers down there too. Oh God. Okay. And this was a this was a prompt kind of a prompt back mm -hmm. background. Remember we did clocks on the back. 
and I got these arrows on the background but yeah I like pretty but I think I'm going to go ahead and quit a little bit early tonight and uh, go and get me something. It's time to eat. Time to yeah. eat again. Yeah, Dustin's bringing food for me, so. Um, Hi, darling. I just now saw you. <coughs> Oh, Sharon got an APC today. I got mine right here. I got to mail them out tomorrow. I got to package up a couple of packages. Get them going, too. Yep. I okay. got to send these to y'all. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. And I appreciate all of y'all. Let me get my um, <coughs> little book, my envelope uh, flip book. Our envelope yeah. flip, flippy. This and is going to be. I love the way it feels with the napkin. Mm -hmm. I am going to put put the gloss on it. Uh, it's going to be really. I really like the, the feel of the stationery over here. And uh, I'm going to put something on the background part too. I don't know. I, I could paint it. I, could paint it. I think it's kind of cute because it contrasts. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it is. I can I can blacken the edges and and uh, and keep that black. Yeah. And blacken the edges here and here. Make a diamond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cute. So we'll be working on these all month. I probably I probably will make more than one. Oh. Uh, I want everybody to play along, and I think the more I make them, uh, the more oh, I, uh, you know, people will want to make them with me. With yeah, me. And, I'll do more uh, of a enable. I will enable everybody to make. Them. I will at least do three of them, probably. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, I love the napkin. And it's a it's a thick napkin. It's a dinner it's a dinner napkin, and I took the backs of them off. But I will gloss it. I'm gonna gloss it to, with my Duraclear varnish. And uh, but this is gonna be our trade for <clears throat> April. Our swap. And uh, I just used all scraps on mine. <laughs> So if you haven't finished your ACTs to get them out, you need to get them out uh, this week. Okay. And uh, I, I started last month telling everybody they had to have them done, made up in advance. And I'm still got girls still don't have them done yet. And I don't know how to get them to move any faster. <laughs> I don't think it's done in the envelope. But, uh, but I'm making these a month in advance, you know, so that. I, I'm showing you how to make them, and um, and then all I have to do, all I have left to do, is put some goodies in the envelopes in here, and put this in another envelope, <clears throat> and mail it to my participant. Beth, for our thing, we might have to do um, one of our packages instead of Becca's. Well, I thought so too. If we don't get it, yeah, yeah, um, we'll have it's, to do. It's no big deal. Uh -uh. Uh, I just mailed mine out yesterday, so you'll be getting it, and she'll okay. be getting hers. So, I, and I mailed all three. The left, there's three left that I had okay. left. So I yeah, so them. We, we might have to use one of ours. Yeah, and that's that's fine. It don't it won't hurt. won't matter. No. No, not really. So. So anyway, uh, good night. Thanks for thanks for uh, Dana for coming on with me. It's been really fun. I've enjoyed it. You're and welcome. I needed the I needed the social. <laughs> well, and I had to just, you know, my kids so can't hope, uh, We'll see if we'll see if uh, 
Rebecca's going to stream with me Thursday. If she's not, if she's still sick, she's sick. Bless her heart. I mm -hmm. think she's over the sickness, but she's just sleepy. She's just dressed. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and I totally understand that. <clears throat> and of course, ever since she's been gone, I've been sleeping at night. Can you believe you know, it? I, I'm, I mean, I'm, and I'm waking up about five o'clock in the morning. So, and then, and today uh, I woke up at, I think, uh, yesterday I was up in time to watch uh, Dee Dee. And um, then I had, I had, oh, well, I had my, went and had my nails done. And, um, and then uh, this morning I woke up, I think about nine or 10. So it was good. And I haven't had a nap today. So I'll sleep, I'll go to bed tonight. And I should, and I'm trying to get to sleep all night. I'm trying to do, but between Joe and the dogs and the cat, I I don't have a chance to, to sleep straight through the night. Yeah, it's hard. They, me uh, too. Yeah, my dog want to me. go out. The cat, me on them. Cat Joe has pulled the cat so that whenever she meows, she gets fed. And it's like Joe, <laughs> don't feed her at night, and she won't wake us up. Yeah. Put her yeah, out. my dogs kick me all night. Put her out now and let her in at 11 o'clock and she'll sleep all night with us. You know, don't yeah. put her out at night and then leave her out all night. No. Just put her out, like, to go potty and then yeah. make her... for two or three hours and then let her back in. And she that's all she wants to be out there. She don't want to be left out all night. She loves, mm -mm. To, she loves to come in and sleep with us. Right. And the dogs have been letting her do that lately, so that's a good thing. So, <laughs> so I will Dana will be on tomorrow at 4 30. Yep. I know. So hopefully I'll be up and I won't be sleeping. And uh, I'll come watch you. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, guys. Thank you, babe. Bye. Good night. Bye, y'all. I lost my mouse. Night night. Night. <laughs>